What's up guys, Safash Ashraf here. Today I'm going to be giving you a couple tips and tricks on how to speed up your Android smartphone. As you guys can see, I'm currently using the Samsung Galaxy S24, but this will work with whatever Android phone you're using if you're using the Samsung Galaxy S23, 22, 21, any S series phone, any A series phone, even if you have the foldable phones, this should work. Some of these tips will also work on other Android phones such as like OnePlus phones and Google Pixel phones. But without anything else said, let's get straight into the video. First of all, I'm going to want you guys to go into your settings, scroll all the way down to about phone. Then you want to go into software information and then you'll see this called build number. You want to keep tapping that until you come up to the option where it tells you to confirm your pin. So once you've done that, it will say developer mode has been enabled. Now, a lot of you guys might already know where I'm going with this, but then we're going to go all the way to the bottom. And as you guys can see, it says developer options. Now, there's a lot of things here which you can mess around with. However, guys, this is definitely not something you want to mess around with. I just want you guys to scroll down all the way till you find this area where it says some options about the display. So as you guys can see here, window animation scale, transition animation scale and animated duration scale. Now, basically, when you're moving around your phone, as you guys can see, we do have these animations. And what these settings are going to do is they're going to just half the speed of these animations, which will make your phone just feel a little bit more faster. So we're going to turn this to 0 0.5. We're going to turn this to 0 0.5. We're going to turn this to 0 0.5. And if you just scroll through your phone now, as you guys can see, the actual animations of everything have gone a lot more faster. And then obviously, if you wanted to, for some reason, you could change this to like two times. We'll turn this to two times. As you guys can see, everything's got a lot slower. So as you guys can see, it's loading in much slower, scrolling down, it's much slower. So yeah, you can even turn this off if you want to, but I would like to just leave it on 1.5 since that still leads you to have these animations, but at the same time, it's much faster. So yeah, that's tip number one. But apart from that, you don't want to mess around with anything in these developer options because there is quite a lot of things in here. But most of these things we don't actually need to touch because it's more for stuff that actual developers do when making apps for their phones. Now, the next quick tip I wanted to give is just go into settings again. Then you want to scroll down to where it says device care. As you guys can see, a lot of people don't actually do this, but you really just want to optimize your phone every now and then because there are a lot of apps that, as you guys can see, can be running in the background, which just will close. It will detect for any app crashes, high battery usage, and there's no storage issues as well. So as you guys can see, this is my battery. It will tell you how much is being used. Pressing optimize will just close all the apps that are running in the background. Obviously, we have memory as well. So you can check and you can clear everything that's been using your memory. So if your phone's feeling a bit slow, closing your apps is one thing. But even when you close your apps, a lot of apps can actually be still running in the background. So this will just make sure nothing else is running in the background. Obviously, you have storage, seeing what's taking up all your storage, and then you can delete that wherever you want to. But yeah, every now and then just go into device care and just press optimize just to speed up your overall phone. Another thing for the next tip, we actually just want to scroll down and it has a option for auto optimization. As you guys can see, click this and it says auto restart. Now, many companies recommend you restart your phone just to give it a fresh heads up. You can either turn on auto restart so you can do that for like restart when needed. So when your phone feels like it should restart because it's been quite a while, it'll restart. Or you can restart on schedule. So if you guys want it to only restart on a Wednesday or Wednesdays and Fridays at 3 a.m. in the morning when you're not going to be using your phone most likely, then it will restart then. Restarting will just make sure the phone just reboots everything, just make sure everything reloads as how it should be. And yeah, that definitely will help with the speed of your phone. Next, you want to go into performance profile. Sometimes this can actually be on light, which prioritizes battery life and cooling efficiency. But if you do want a faster feeling phone, you want to turn it to standard. This provides a recommended balance between battery processing speed. But yeah, basically, this will just mean your CPU runs faster than light. And adding on to performance profile, if you do want your phone to be running as fast as possible, make sure you don't actually turn on power saving mode. Because as you guys can see, power saving mode does do quite a lot of things like limit CPU speed to 70%. So if you just keep power saving mode off with these phones, I don't recommend using power saving mode because the battery is already pretty good. On the S24, I already have a 4000 milliamp power battery, so I don't really need it. But yeah, apart from that, that's just some quick tips on how to make sure your phone feels as fast as possible. Like I said, most of these tips will work with any phone that you guys are using. This is the S24, as you guys can see. 
But yeah, I've been using this for quite a while. This has the Exynos chip and it does feel pretty fast with everything that I've been doing on this phone. It is actually really, really good to use. I have been using an iPhone before this, but I have been using the S24 much more now. I am going to be coming out with a video on how to improve the camera quality on the S24 series or even the A series phones. Let me know what you guys want to see. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.